In this video, I want to break down two types of punches you are going to throw. Flash versus power. And I'm gonna break this down and I'm gonna give you practical examples that you can implement right away. So, you can throw your punches as a flash punch or as a power punch. The intention behind a power punch is to TKO, to KO to do maximum damage with that power shot. And a flash punch is a speed shot, not a power shot. So you throw the same shot, but fast in order to set something else up. So for power, you take any of the punches that you are throwing with power. These are your cross, your rear hook to the body or to the head. Then you have your lead hook to the body or to the head, as well as the rear uppercut and the lead uppercut. All of those can be thrown with maximum power, 80 to 100 percent, putting the entire body all the way through your legs, into your hips, and driving through in order to land that TKO, that KO shot. It's very important to know that the power generated on your power shots starts from the ground, not from your shoulders, not from your arms, from the ground, going up to your legs, to your hips, to your body, and then the transference of that power from the ground ends up in your fist. So you have to rotate your legs, your hips, and you have to torque and you have to punch through the bag with maximum power by rotating your entire body and driving your hips and your arm through the bag. That's where the maximum power comes, from the torque, not just from the arm, never from the arm. So you have to implement those body mechanics and because of that torque that you have to do with your entire body, it takes a lot more energy out of you and it, it's a little slower than if you were throwing it for flash. So you are going to be a little slower when you are throwing for power, for full power, trying to do damage. But that's why you are throwing other shots to set up your power shot. So for power, you're simply going to be setting up your power shots with other shots. Mostly it's going to be your jab in order to set up your cross. You can use a jab to set up your other shots, such as a hook to the body, hook to the head, uppercut, Jab is the most versatile setup shot that you have, but you will be using something to set up your power shots because if you're just throwing your power shot by itself, others will often see it and they can counter you because you're telegraphing. It's a power shot, your entire body is moving in order to deliver that maximum damage. So you're going to be a little slower, you have to set up your power shots, but the intention behind the power shot is full force, full power maximum damage. Just some of the body mechanics for your power shots, just to see where the rotation of the body needs to happen for your rear shots, such as uh, let's say a cross. Most common punch you're gonna throw full power. When you're throwing your power shot, my entire legs are twisting, my hips are twisting, and my rear hip is driving through. My entire body is rotating and I'm punching through the bag, not at the bag. So when you're punching full power, you're rotating your entire body in order to drive through the bag and you can see my entire body is rotating in order to get that maximum power behind my shots. When you're doing it with a lead shot uh, such as a lead hook to the body or the head you're also going to be rotating through the legs, pivoting on your legs, driving through your hips, the torque of the body has to follow through and the arm is the last thing that connects to drive through with the hook. So you can see there's a lot of energy that has to be put behind each shot by rotating your entire body from the legs to your hips to the body to your arm. There is a lot of components have to be in play. Everything is being used. So that's some of the body mechanics behind the power shots that you need to generate and implement. Now when you're throwing punches as flash punches, those are the same punches being thrown but flash means speed. And speed punches are going to be a lot quicker, you're going to conserve energy and the intention behind a flush punch is a setup shot. So essentially the same punches that you throw from power can also be thrown as a flash shot to set something up. So for power shot, you need something to set up that power shot so you don't telegraph yourself and you land more efficiently and more accurately without getting countered. For flash, you're using the flash punches as a way to set up something else. So with flash, you don't rotate fully in order to drive through. That's not the intention. The, the intention is to flick your punch. Quick, nice, snapping, speedy punch in order to make them react so you can set something else up. So for example, with a cross, you throw that cross very quick. So you're not driving through, but you simply, you're still rotating, but you're not wasting a lot of energy and you're not driving through. The intention is just to make them react and then you maybe set up your lead uh, hook to the body and to the head with more power. So with a flash cross for example, it's just a nice quick 
touch. Bam, you were just almost like a snap and jab. This is more of a snap and cross. Nice, quick flash cross in order to set something else up. And for hooks or uppercuts, same thing. You're not driving through on rotation in order to generate maximum power. All you're doing is a nice, quick touch. A little snap behind that punch. You're still following the proper body mechanics with the fight stance in order to be protected, but you're not driving through. You're not generating maximum power and driving through. You're just simply touching. Quick little snapping shot to the body or snapping shot to the head. Mainly done with an arm with a slight little torque of the body to generate that snap. And then it positions you to deliver something more powerful right behind it. So for example, instead of throwing a jab, then the power shot cross, and then a lead hook, a power hook to the body or the head, you can simply throw a quick snap and cross, flash cross, that sets you up for that power shot right behind with the hook. So you're kind of eliminating a lot of punches in between, and uh, you can lead with power shots, what are perceived to be power shots most of the time. You can lead with them to set something else more powerful and uh, break your rhythm of your combinations a lot more. And you, you'll be harder to read when you're utilizing some of the power punches as flash shots to set something more complex up or even not complex, but uh, something more that's not perceived as being thrown often. So that gives you a lot of variety, it gives you a lot of freedom to execute and a lot of more, a lot more options to deliver on target. So flash is a quick snapping shot, wastes a lot less energy, it's not as powerful, but the intention behind it is simply to land on target with a quick flash and snap to set another power punch up or another combination or another chain sequence of punches so you can deliver another power shot somewhere down the road. Now there's a third type of punch that you may hear which is a check punch and the check punch is essentially the same thing as a flash punch but except that you are doing your check punch as a counter as a way when they're coming in and you throw in a nice quick check hook or check uppercut or check cross you have to time them as they're coming in and it has to be set up as a counter that's why it's called a check you check in them as they're coming in and the their body momentum is often enough for you to do a quick uppercut quick hook or a quick cross a nice check cross and the weight and the momentum of the body coming in with your nice Nice quick flash punch right behind it two forces collide and that's often not lights out and you actually seen this many many times before when it happens in real time you don't know what punch landed because somebody's rushing in somebody's stepping back and goes pow throw something and the person who was attacking just drops and you're like what the hell happened so you have to go to replay and that's often a check uppercut a check hook or a check cross on retreat so a check punch is very similar to a flash but it's done as a counter on retreat meeting their body momentum and weight coming in and you time them just right and you throw that nice little quick uppercut hook hook or cross. So now you have two different ways you can utilize the same punches being thrown. So all the power shots or the power shots that are perceived as power shots, you can now throw them as a power shot or as a flash shot. So implement this in shadow boxing, implement this on the bag, implement this in sparring and uh, vary your rhythm. This will allow you to land a lot more punches, uh, execute a lot more various combinations and will keep the variety and different pattern of your shots going uh, and you'll be very hard to predict, very hard to read and you'll land a lot more shots. And if you are ready to learn how to punch and how to build a strong foundation of your striking, I have an in-depth program called Striking Fundamentals Volume 1 Fundamental 4. I will show you the four fundamental punches every fighter needs to master and then I combine those four punches with eight different combinations you need to execute. So this course is available right now. It's extremely in-depth. It will show you how to punch properly and how to build that foundation, that groundwork that you need in order to execute your punches with power, with speed, and how to begin to drill them so you can master them.